What's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I want to take a little bit of your time today to talk about a product that we have updated to make a lot more user friendly for you guys, as well as what is going on day to day here at AirDog and what is going on on the production line. Hey, this is CJ. We're out here on the manufacturing floor here at AirDog. Uh, we're currently compiling another freight order for a customer. This is where they come in for pack out, finished products, and then they'll end up in this box right here. Uh, due to increased demand, we're expanding this department uh, as well as some of the manufacturing equipment. Alright guys, now we're going to talk about our universal indicator light kit. This is going to be a basically a universal harness that will plug into your fuel system. It doesn't even matter if you have an air dog lift pump. It's basically put it in line in your fuel system and whenever it sees the fuel pressure drop below 5 psi, it's going to trigger a light that you can mount on your dash. You can really mount it wherever you want. Um, like it says in the name, this is a universal kit. We've been selling this product for quite some time now and it actually used to be incorporated into the air dog wiring harness. The intended purpose of this product is to let you know whenever your filters need changed. That's why we've created and released it and it has been used in our air dog kits for a very long time. But we've updated it a little bit so it's universal. Like I said, you don't even have to have an air dog lift pump to use one of these. And also you can use this in other applications as well. This could even be used as a uh, low oil pressure indicator light. So if your oil pressure was to get below 5 psi, you could use it for that as well. All right guys, let's go ahead and open it up. Real simple here, so we'll keep it short and sweet. All right, first here we have our instruction manual. Just go through real quick, make sure you have all of the components um, that are supposed to come with this kit. Set this off to the side. And then we have our sending unit right here. So this is where you're actually gonna read uh, the fuel pressure and we include a little elbow as well if you have an original air dog so you can thread this into the base and then your sending unit basically thread onto the air dog uh, base itself on the newer air dog 2's we put a brass 90 degree elbow in it so you can thread it directly into that this is your indicator light so this will actually you'll basically be drilling a hole in, in your dash or wherever you want to mount this and it comes with a little nameplate as well that the light will go through basically with some 3M tape on the back. So just a really clean way to um, incorporate this into your vehicle and make it look nice and factory. Like I mentioned before, change fuel filters that's on the tag. They'll also come with a rubber grommet so if you want to drill a hole through your firewall if you need to. Um, a lot of times it can be tricky to, to figure out how to get a big piece of harness like this through your firewall so we do go ahead and include this just in case. And then it'll come with a little wire tap in case you guys need to um, steal power from somewhere in the truck that's kind of hard to get to. You can steal power from it. You're just you're going to clip that around the wire that you're trying to steal from. And then you just have a male spade that goes in there. So that's a really nice little connector that we include. And then we'll have the harness itself. Now, this is a universal harness. So like I said before, these used to be incorporated into the AirDog wiring harnesses so you basically had to have an air dog to be able to use this kit and that's what's cool about when we redesigned it is this can be used on anything it doesn't have to be something with an air dog okay guys so first we have our this is going to be the pigtail that plugs into the indicator light so you want to run that down your frame rail mount it on your indicator wherever you have it you're going to have your key on ignition source tap so that that's incorporated with this little wire splice that we include so once that is on a piece of wire like that, you're gonna basically push that in. Just try to find one that's key on power, ground, and then we have the two leads that will actually go to the light itself. All right, so guys, the way that this works is basically all it is is we're just putting 12 volt power to this little indicator light, but the sensor here is not gonna allow us to do so as long as the fuel pressure is over five PSI. So whenever the sensor falls below 5 PSI, it's going to complete the circuit and your light is going to light up. So anytime your key is on, your engine's running, you're over 5 PSI, the sensor is not going to allow the circuit to be complete, so this light is not going to be on. So just to kind of explain to you how, how exactly that works, it's a really simple design and uh, it's been out for a really long time. We don't have hardly any issues with these things. All right, guys, you can get this product from any authorized AirDog dealer. Just hit them up. The part number, like I said once again, it's 901-04-0004-4. So hit up any authorized AirDog dealer. They will be able to get you this. So you can install it. Like I said, guys, there's a lot of different applications what you can use it in. Mainly if you're just looking for something to notify you when your AirDog fuel pressure is low or your filters need changed, 
but it can be used in other applications as well, low oil pressure. If you have any questions about it, just feel free to give our tech department a call and we can answer those for you. And then be sure to stay until the end of the video because we're going to hook this thing up and show you guys exactly how it works. Now we have our low pressure indicator light system. It's all hooked up here. Um, this is our test stand, so this is what our technicians use to test. Uh, say we have a warranty pump that's having an issue, we may ask you guys to send it in to us so we can check it out and see what's going on with it. So here we have basically a whole stand set up that we can simulate multiple issues on a truck, pressure, vacuum, suction issues, all of that we can simulate here. But we have actually hooked our low pressure indicator light cut up, so I'm going to show you guys how it works. I'm going to turn my power supply on. This is going to be like turning the air dog lift pump on. Light's going to go on for a second, then we'll go off when the pump primes to make fuel pressure. You can see here, I'll bump it up a little bit, making about 10 PSI, and obviously the light's not on, but say it's time to change your fuel filters or you have an issue with your air dog lift pump and your fuel pressure drops, well, it's going to kick a light on and notify you on the dash. So, really nice little piece for you guys to add on to your air dog fuel system.